welcome to the first episode of our vibrato boot camp. I am so excited to launch this program and to work with you dolls throughout the month of July to develop your vibrato. Now, if you have just started out with vibrato or haven't even tried, but you have always been curious, this is the place for you. Now, I know this is only a month long program, so I encourage you to take the tools you learned throughout these weeks and to keep them up, not just through July, but afterwards. So I don't know if you guys know, I am dressed out in my workout gear because this is a boot camp, guys. Leave a comment below. Tell me you guys are in it. Make sure you use our hashtag VibBootCamp. I would love to see you dolls making progress and let's get started. So for this video, I want you dolls to aim to do this for days this week. You guys can totally do it. Take some time in your afternoon to be with your instrument or take a practicing break. And for this first week, you dolls are not gonna need your bow. You just need your own celli. And let's get started. So our first exercise is going to be body corner taps, where you are going to be aiming for the top corner over here by your A string. Take your thumb and put it at the base of your cello neck, where the neck meets the body. And we are going to lightly curve our fingers and we are lightly touching the string. Just sit on top, you don't have to sink. And we're gonna take our whole hand, tap the corner. Come back, tap the corner. And I want you to focus, don't have the wrist flopping a lot. Your hand should just be all in a constant form. Come back, tap, and really focus on this part of your arm opening up, the forearm and the elbow. Let's do a couple more taps. Good job, excellent. So we're just gonna shake it out. And another benefit of this exercise is you're gonna have to have a high elbow to do this one. And I know I talked to my students about it. I don't know if you've heard it from your teachers, elbow up or chicken wing. This is a great way to train and get used to it. You are gonna access some muscles here. We are training my dolls, this is a boot camp. For our second exercise, we are gonna do some finger pair shaking. So again, you're going to take your thumb and you're gonna place it on the top of the instrument, not over, but slightly behind. Drop our four fingers, making sure that elbow is up again and our fingers are curved and relaxed. Make sure you dolls wash your hands because you don't want anything dirty on your wood or your varnish. We are going to just put down the first finger and I want you to shake slowly, easy, nothing super fast. We're just rocking the wrist. And if you guys look, you're gonna see movement over here and that's what we want. So we are shaking away nice and easy. Now put down one and two. One and two are shaking now. So this is common in vibrato. We shake in pairs. That's what this exercise is training you for. Now two and three. And don't press. Literally, I'm just barely grazing the top here. Two and three. And now three and four. Great job. If you dolls are worried about touching the wood or you have a crazy day and you can't take out your cello, take your bow arm, your right hand. Pretend like you're clapping yourself on the shoulder. You have a cello neck. What? Yeah. And do one and two, two and three, one and two, three and four. So you can practice the arm shaking and give yourself kind of a temporary cello neck. So that is another modification. Okay, our final exercise is going to be our vibrato slide prep. Some of you guys might not have developed 
calluses yet on your fingers. So I would recommend doing this exercise with something soft. A t-shirt, nothing like buttons, nothing that's gonna scratch, no zippers. Just a neutral cloth, like what I have here. Just to not have a lot of friction going up and down. We're gonna save that for week two, so this is gonna be your prep. Take your towel, put it on top, and what I want you guys to do is have one, two, and three. It doesn't have to be first position. I know I'm not in first position right now. Somewhere near the top. I want you to take your thumb, put it behind one. So what I did, I was under the neck, swing it up, plop, okay? And again, that elbow is up. See a theme in these exercises? Okay, we're gonna slide. Come back, slide, come back. Now you guys don't have to go all the way down because that can strain a little bit. Just open for what's natural here and come back. This isn't a shifting exercise. This is more of just accessing our elbow hinge, okay? So you don't need to go super far. Okay, and now we can do a little bit of like a medium speed. And then faster. Fast and tiny. Sorry guys, that's my towel. <laughs> and done! So you'd all see why it's important we have something nice and soft, okay? Great, so that was set one, and now we are going to repeat this, and I'm not gonna talk as much, I promise, so it's gonna be more fluid, and just shake out your arm. Nice and loose and relaxed. Don't forget about the wrist, you can do some rotations, and shake out the fingers, nice and easy. If you notice, nothing in these videos is fast, and that's important because we really wanna make sure we're processing these motions and that we're doing them correctly. So let's start again with our corner taps, aiming for right here. Put our thumb at the base of the neck, light hovering, just grazing the string, fingers, high elbow, open, close. Open and close, there you guys go. All right, and again, make sure your wrist stays constant, nothing bending, it's just hovering. And the motion is happening from our elbow, opening like a hinge. Let's do a couple more. Great job, my dolls, okay. So next exercise is our finger pair shaking on the shoulder, but we're gonna start with first finger. So elevate the arm. One and two. Two and three. Three and four. That pinky definitely needs that help from third finger. So remembering all the pairs are especially important, but the pinky is the one that truly benefits the most, I think. And lastly, one more vibrato siren slide prep, okay? Get our cloth, one, two, and three, somewhere near the top, thumb comes up, put it behind and open, close. You guys are doing awesome. This is our last exercise, you guys got it. Crushing it. And again, if you feel pulling behind your elbow, you're sliding too 
far. This is vibrato. This is not a shifting exercise, okay? So you don't have to go super far. Think about maybe a little bit past fourth position, but don't go really far, okay? Good, let's do medium speed with less distance. Staying light and easy, no pressing down, nothing like that. Your elbows floating on a cloud faster. Fast and short. Imagine what this looks like without any context. What are you doing, cello doll? All right, Woo, we're gonna call that done. And slipped on my towel a little bit there, but that's okay, we made it through, and I hope you guys are still here too because we're done! Woo, celebratory towel twirl. All right, how'd you guys do? I hope you guys had fun with these and that it's giving you more access to your arm and opening at that elbow hinge because involving the whole arm is really essential for vibrato, not just the wrist and fingers. So congratulations on making it through the first video. Chelly and I both think that's amazing. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments or cheer each other on. This is gonna be going throughout the whole month of July. I hope you guys are in it and pumped. Be sure to check out the description for a calendar. You dolls can print out and I tell you which videos to do and you can check them off as you accomplish each day. And I hope you guys have fun with this bootcamp. Don't forget to use our hashtag VibBootCamp so Chelly and I can see you dolls rocking it. Also, if you have any friends who are fellow cellists and have been wanting to learn more about vibrato, send them this video and they can also be your practice buddy along with Chelly and I. Do it together get each other hyped up to learn and grow throughout this boot camp. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep it up. We are officially in vibrato boot camp. See you for the future video and more exercises. Bye.